Hey you guys, Kelsey from Purple Art. So um, today what we're going to do is do some bubble art. Uh, this is pretty fun. Um, you're going to need some water, some dish soap, and some paint, and straw. So when you do this, you can do it on the canvas, you can do it on paper, you can do it on some cardboard. Um, make sure that you have something down. Uh, the bubbles will come out of the cup, um, so just make sure that you have something down. This is also on those days that it's nice and sunny. Uh, today is one of them. Uh, you can go outside and do this. So it's a really fun project. So what we are going to do is we're going to take the water, and I'm kind of eyeballing all this, and I'm going to take some of this blue paint and put it into my water. Basically what that's doing is like dyeing your water. Um, you could probably do this with food coloring as well. It might not be as vibrant, uh, but I could be surprised. So now I have some nice watered down paint here. What I'm gonna do is put a few drops of soap into it. Just kind of mix it up. So when we're kids, we love to like blow into our drinks and make it bubble. It's basically what we're going to do in this project. It is we're just going to blow and see how we have these bubbles already. We're going to take our paper, our canvas, whatever we have, and just kind of press those bubbles onto the canvas. And we're going to keep doing it. So this is what we, we got going at the moment. I think I'm going to do another color in between. I'm gonna kind of do it up in like a fast moment here. So. so it is cool to just kind of um, let your bubbles sit there for a while. Um, I might have gone a little crazy on my bubbles and now I just kind of have like a blue and green mess on here but if you let your bubble sit sometimes you'll get those nice and solid areas i think what i'm going to have to do is once these bubbles pop i'm going to dry my canvas with a hair dryer and then slowly do a few more layers of that blue and green um, and i might even try and do a little bit of red on it just so we could get more of those like bubble areas right now it just kind of looks like a, a blue green tie-dye kind of thing which is still cool um, but yeah okay so this is what I have after it dried it's actually pretty cool looking um, but we're gonna try to get some more layering on here to actually have it be bubbly um, one thing that you can experiment with is like I put a lot of water with my paint um, you can try doing more paint than water um, change up the ratio a little bit and see if that helps. Um, that's what I'm going to do here with this red. I have uh, a lot more paint in here than I did with the bigger cups. Um, same amount of soap, a little bit of water. Uh, so I'm just going to give it a go. So one thing you can do, you can plop it on like we did the first part or as we saw in my Time lapse. I kind of pushed them off a little. It's not wanting to exactly happen here with the red one. On. There we go. So one thing I will say is remember that these are bubbles and they do pop. So they will get paint places. Not extremely, but there is that 
test of getting some paint. But this one I'm just going to not work as much as I wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna let these bubbles kind of sit there for a minute because that's gonna help soak in and get those areas. So when they naturally, I can either after a few minutes pop them myself. Um, we'll see how long it takes for them to naturally pop. Um, but once they do, I will show you what it looks like. Okay, you guys, so now I have let the right dry mostly. And as you can see, you can see those like bubble cells which are really cool. Um, so I'm gonna just play around and do another little time lapse and I'll see you again in a second. So this is what it looks like right now. It's still a little wet. Um, I am going to put a paper towel on top of it, just like so. And just kind of pat it, not rub, just pat. This might be a faster way for it to dry. There we go, look at that. How fun. So now that it's nice and dry, I have a awesome painting. It's this one for all ages. I had a blast. Um, so if you end up doing a bubble painting, I'd love to see it. So if you could comment down below. Uh, Sapphire here would also love to see it. So do it for her. <laughs> uh, so yeah, comment below with a, a picture of what you did. Bye, have fun.